So I'm uh, Albert Fishman. I'm coming from uh, Cavium uh, Explain Switching Department of uh, Cavium. I belong to a, a marketing team that promotes solutions based on programmability of our Explained ASIC. <clears throat> In general, uh, Cavium and Explained, we deploy our programmable ASICs for uh, three years already since 2015. We have three generations in production, field-proven solutions. Uh, we have uh, products with our leading OEM partners, as well as a uh, you know, large variety of uh, white boxes that uh, uh, use our switches in different network operation systems, and uh, also a large variety of uh, solutions based on our explained uh, uh, programmable ASICs that uh, uh, actually it's a mix of supporting you know, the say, legacy interoperability and standard solution and behaviors that people expect. Plus, on top of that, you know, secret sauce or improvements due to programmability that our data plane uh, enables. We are also strong believers in the OCP, on both on the software side and the, on the hardware side. So for the software, we fully support ASI, the latest ASI, and we are actually one of the leading contribution, contributors to the community. We contribute a lot. Uh, we also support uh, Sonic on the hardware side. We have at least uh, two platforms that have been accepted by uh, OCP. This is the Wedge platform, Wedge 100C, I should say, and, uh, and uh, another platform with uh, H-Core. <clears throat> now, after this uh, mandatory introduction, I, I want to focus on uh, the actual, the real topic of this uh, conversation, the uh, packet tracker. This is our suite for programmable uh, telemetry that we're introducing today at this event. We also made the press, a press release a couple of days uh, before. Uh, <clears throat> and actually, I think that if you uh, look across you know, uh, completely different uh, networks, uh, data center networks, hybrid converged networks, telecom networks, enterprise networks, there's still a lot of uh, similarity in trends that uh, happen in these uh, networks. And the trends that we are seeing, you know, in this network, they grow, they scale. But it's not only the size of the networks, but also the demand to be able to serve different network applications, different applications, and each application has its own network profile or characteristics or demands in regards to, you know, latency, throughput, and, and um, uh, scale and the other things. If we go to today's solution, solutions that exist today, all of these networks, they face uh, issues or challenges, I shouldn't say issues because there are solutions, they face challenges related to, to be able to provide the quality of experience to these applications that uh, are, is uh, calibrated, adjusted to the, to the specific network uh, uh, profile requirements, and as well as in general, keep the network uh, uh, operation efficient, you know, fully utilized and so on. And, uh, and honestly, it's very hard to manage very complicated systems without having full visibility into what is going on and at high granularity and in real time. So this is where our packet tracker is uh, coming to help. And packet tracker is actually a complete suite that uh, integrates a combination of the switch, actually, you know, the hardware, uh, hooks and hardware accelerators, our SDK support for the say, hardware accelerators, uh, and uh, integration with uh, uh, different NOSes. Uh, and also, uh, as part of Packet Tracker, there is a software, uh, front end software for uh, visualization, processing, and analysis of uh, telemetry, observability, and analytics that data that is collected from explained switches. And actually, what we are trying to achieve here, we are trying uh, to help our uh, uh, partners, uh, OEM partners, to develop better products, or uh, customers that deploy white boxes for them. It's a you know it's an off-the-shelf product to be able to better monitor their not networks, detect all kind of uh, abnormal events, exceptions, or just uh, you know wrong behavior of the network, uh, and and then uh, we give them the possibility uh, you know to react quickly and actually fix these issues before uh, their impact becomes uh, you know, too significant. <clears throat> I think that uh, the types of uh, issues that we try to address with our telemetry solution can be divided into two main categories. One type of issues deal with uh, network reliability and efficiency, which means that uh, uh, you know, sometimes you may have misconfigurations like black holing, or because we are programmable customers uh, can go and implement their own pipeline and then exceptions might be different. So you want to identify 
uh, cases when uh, the packet processing is not happening as expected by application. Uh, 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 another use case is uh, troubleshooting observability. It's known that for networking guys, it's very hard to troubleshoot uh, issues. And you know what? If you have friends, uh, IT, they call it time to innocence. For uh, software guys, for server guys, it's very easy to prove that the blame is not on them. They have all the tools. And, and you know, and so on. But for the network guys, they are blame and their time to innocence is, you know, very long to prove that uh, the, the failure is not due to, to the things that are in the control. The other type, the other category of issues that uh, we deal with a uh, packet tracker relate to, to kind of uh, providing applications, uh, their quality of experience, <clears throat> right? And uh, mostly it relates to fluctuations in latency or packet drop or so on that uh, if it happens, uh, uh, the network administrator operator needs to be notified uh, right away. But also we have very advanced uh, tools that again, the ground up is from the ASIC support through XDK, through integration of our application with different uh, NOSes. We are able to notify the network operation system that for example, Q, egress queue is uh, building up and then uh, and then, and then this uh, operator, you know, tools that can react actually before the packets are getting dropped, right? Uh, in general, I think that the use cases that we are doing as client and use cases that the, uh, you know, Arcadi presented related to telemetry, and also certain things that the Broadcom are doing, it keeps pushing the telemetry uh, uh, area forward and. We expect, we anticipate, it's not only we expect, we also see from our customers and partners that new use cases evolve and having a, 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 you know, programmable hardware and very flexible software uh, puts us in better position to go and address all these uh, challenges that may come in the future. Um, now just, you know, I, I think that they, all the OEM products today, one way or another, they, they, they provide telemetry capabilities and just uh, briefly to compare how our solution might be different from what it today exists on the market. I think that the most of this, not the thing I know that most of these solutions are based on a pool model where you like, you know, pool counters, pool counters, or uh, use the probing, you kind of you know, generate the diagnostic uh, packets to see what is going on. And this is a really not optimal solution, especially in more complex and larger networks. Uh, for, uh, for several reasons. So one of the reasons it's not event trigger, triggered, right? So if, uh, you, if these uh, events are transient in, in nature, it simply can be missed because, you know, uh, this polling is based on uh, sampling. It's not in the real time. If you see the way that uh, all these solutions, the poll counters, they count the poll counters every few seconds. And just uh, to give you a sense of uh, how long is one second uh, for, for an ASIC, is a single port of 100 gig through single port of 100 gig, it can pass up to 150 million packets in, the, in that second. If we, and if we talk about like, a, you know, like a, a ASIC, in one second, there are billions of packets that are going through. So polling counters every few seconds is definitely you know, too late and too inaccurate. Uh, also, it's uh, not uh, granular. So most of these tools or all of these tools are not able to provide this uh, granularity you know, this visibility in, in the granularity of uh, per flow. And we spoke that one of the goals that we are trying to help our customers is to be able to monitor, a, 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 you know, a, to monitor application behavior, like, you know, the application level, right? Because each application may have different requirements. And we have to have this granularity of uh, per flow uh, uh, to monitor these applications and collect different metrics to be able to treat that. Uh, the other thing is that, and this is, I think, one of the major thing, uh, major limitations in, uh, in the legacy implementations, that lack of uh, hardware assistance actually uh, pushes all this processing to the software. And uh, for people that is familiar with uh, the ways that the, you know, OEM products are developed, usually for telemetry, you have very shallow resources left on their CPU after, you know, they have to serve all the standard engines and so on. So many things that are possible in ASICs are simply not implemented because of, uh, of a lack of the CPU resources. So all these use cases that I mentioned before, they're completely for explained ASICs, they're implemented in hardware. They do not require any uh, host CPU resources and, and are also very important to help uh, you know, move this uh, area of telemetry forward. 
So actually, I think I already addressed as part of this comparison to advantages of uh, our uh, packet tracker telemetry solution. In our case, all these things, they are implemented in hardware, which implies that uh, it's uh, you know, full wire speed, no CPU resources uh, usage. We are able to provide granularity at the uh, per flow. Uh, and uh, most of the features or uh, all, 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 all these use cases that they require, uh, need to be event triggered, they're truly event triggered, so we are not uh, abuse the system by generating you know, interrupts or packets or requiring uh, you know, that CPU uh, polling information and so on. We'll send notification when an uh, undesired event happens and then, and then, and then CPU can uh, go and uh, react. Okay, so I'm not sure if you have time. I, I'll skip all, 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 uh, some of this information. We have these slides available on uh, our Kavium page that relates to telemetry. But uh, just uh, briefly to mention that our solution, what we call packet tracker, is an umbrella for all our telemetry capabilities. And it includes the hardware support, you know, the pipeline support, the SDK support, uh, NOS integration if needed, as well as the front end uh, uh, applications that has the agents that runs on the box and the, the managers that runs in the cloud. Uh, all these things are available from uh, Kavium. Actually, all these slides are available on our uh, telemetry webpage, so you are welcome to go and download. No need to take pictures. Uh, same presentation. Um, uh, we view telemetry as kind of an application which is orthogonal to NOSIS, and it uh, can run with uh, every NOS. So in this, uh, here at OCP, we are demonstrating, uh, for example, a packet tracker running with open switch. That's the uh, first, uh, first node that we ported our packet tracker solution with. But we have also plans uh, to do it with uh, Sonic and, uh, and the other partners. And uh, so uh, this packet tracker solution, it may, may be used as a standalone product, as an application, on top of all this open source uh, NOSIS or other customer uh, NOSIS. Uh, but it also, for our OEM partners, the ways that we build you know, all these uh, parts, you know, the hardware SDK and this application is uh, very modular. And it's based, for example, the tool is based on the, the methods that are you know, very popular in uh, we looked at the standard uh, uh, telemetry solution, so we use the same database and the same interfaces and so on. So for OEM partners, they don't have to, uh, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. It's uh, very modular, so they can take parts and uh, just, just uh, integrate the parts that are relevant for, for uh, their solution. So demo, I don't have time to show a demo. We have it uh, downstairs. I just want, it's last 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, so I, I spoke about the main use cases and just listed some of them here. Um, and just uh, to summarize and uh, finish this with a smile. Actually, I don't know how to get to this. Okay, so just to leave you with a smile, so actually our packet track is the, the way it's intended to work is to help operators to detect all kinds of risky situations, hazards, and uh, hopefully prevent them in a safe uh, way. Right? So we have uh, all the information available on our website. You're welcome to go and uh, try our solution. We'll love you to try it out. Thank you, Albert, especially the kids. So we have time for. Actually, just a second. I have to give, to give credit for this video to my kids. It was just they found it on YouTube. Fantastic, right. the kids in YouTube. Uh, time for maybe one question. If someone would like to ask a question before the discussion. Okay. Well, then we'll transition to Thank Maddie you very much. Uh, from Mellanox. We got all the 